This question is one minute. What has been lacking in Ward 6 leadership? And what will you do to correct it? I think a responsibility in government, mainly um, communication with the constituency and um, the, how, how the funds are being distributed. Uh, this is your money that's being taken, whether it's through taxes, fees, or otherwise. And uh, you should be holding the people in the government and the public officials responsible for how they're spending your money. And they should be responsible. They shouldn't even have to be told. They should be responsible. And um, as for communication with government, if I'm elected, I, I will have a, an open office, an open line of communication with anybody in the community, and even outside. Thank you. Mr. Andrews. The biggest thing I think that's uh, the biggest thing that's been lacking in this community mostly has been communication. Everywhere I go, people tell me they never hear anything about anything. They never know anything's happening until it's already happened. Uh, again, the the money that gets distributed from CDBG funds uh, need to be kept in this community and used for streets and sidewalks. The uh, communication level not only needs to be bumped up. But it, but it needs to be taken to a level of, of community collaboration as well. We need to ask people what they want. We need to get people involved in the community. Uh, other than that, uh, job training, I think, and the problem with the homeless are the two other issues that I would uh, say that we need to do. And as far as taking care of those problems, that's a much longer answer than the one minute for today. Thank you. Ms. Chavez? Definitely, we need more communication. Either news okay. Definitely, we need like newsletters, emails, or monthly community meetings. Um, the website on our on our city website needs to change, and I'd like to meet with IT people at the city hall to change that. Also, to um, I'm pro business. I want business to uh, contact businesses to come to Riverside and hire within our community. Programs in our senior centers, we need to uh, include uh, uh, programs for children, for our seniors, and our youth. And I work very well with uh, Ralph Nunez, and uh, we're working on a project right now, so um, I can't give you all the details yet. Um, but um, I work very well with Ralph, and I'm sure we can meet and put him better, uh, not better, but more programs that are needed in the community centers. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Perry? This side of town needs more attention than what it's getting. The next council person needs to be available, they need to be accessible, they need to be seen and interacting within this community. I'm going to be a consensus builder. I'm going to reach out, I'm going to listen to what you have to say. I'm going to value your input for the betterment of this community. We need to keep moving forward. We've got to not only be thinking about today, we need to be thinking about 5, 10, 15 years down the road. Communication comes from being directly involved within this communication and talking directly with you. Okay. Mr. Allen. Would you give me that question again? I want to make sure I'm answering it correctly. What has been lacking in Ward 6 leadership? And what will you do to correct it? Oh, this is my time to throw someone under the bus. I love it. We, we haven't had any leadership in Ward 6. None whatsoever. We have a person that's more interested in going to the mayor's ball. And maybe I shouldn't pick on Nancy so hard, but there are, there are things that need to occur in Ward 6. We have a luscious golden opportunity. This is where we have the property in this side of town, not downtown. We have we have properties available for development projects. Uh, we have our new camp vans. I don't know if any of you have heard about it yet, but we have an opportunity to fulfill the 28 unit for our Wounded Warrior Project, which is at the Officers Club at Camp Anza. Um, and as a councilman for this area, I've already been very involved in reaching out to people and helping them solve issues, but uh, that's it. Thank you. Mr. Santori. We've been out walking the neighborhood and three things that have come up to me is the dense housing that we're starting to see. Um, 
down on Magnolia, down three stories, two stories, uh, condos. This is all going to affect us in Riverside in our fire department, police department, with this here dense house, is what I'm hearing. And to that, it's going to add the traffic. So we have to look at this here and decide, um, do the streets come first, or does that housing construction come in first? Um, so that the police department, <coughs> equipment, the maintenance of the equipment, the fire department, the same thing, maintenance of the equipment, the up-to-date uh, quality of the tools that they need to perform their job is lacking. And uh, jobs, we've been the bedroom city to Los Angeles and Orange County for so long that we only have a few opportunities where we can still do some construction here to bring jobs into Los Sierra. Thank you. Thank you.